Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. So in today's video, we've got a bit of a basic topic that we're covering, but we wanted to explain the difference between Ethernet and Wi-Fi, and a brief description of how they work and why you might want to choose one versus the other. Before we start, if you're interested in genuine Microsoft software for a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll have all the links in the description box below. So without further ado, let's get started. So Ethernet and Wi-Fi are two different methods that you can use to connect your computer to your home network and internet service. More often than not, home router is going to let you connect using both methods. So Ethernet is going to be using physical cables and will deliver faster internet speeds, less interference, and sometimes better security. Wi-Fi is going to send signals through the air to connect your devices, making it a lot more mobile and convenient, but this comes at the cost of slower speeds and an overall less reliable connection. Wi-Fi in general though is secure and fast enough for many purposes. And some modern devices like smartphones will only be compatible with Wi-Fi and not Ethernet. Now let's move on to understanding Ethernet connections. Many computers and other devices will have an Ethernet port on them. So a lot of laptops, TVs, gaming consoles, things like that, they give you the option to set up Ethernet. In my case, I have to use a USB-C to Ethernet adapter I like to use Ethernet when I'm uploading a lot of content because, you know, sometimes hundreds of gigabytes uploading to the cloud takes too long for me over Wi-Fi. And as far as how it's set up throughout a home or an office, the Ethernet cables are going to start at your router and then oftentimes they're going to go through walls all the way to an Ethernet jack, which is just a port that's on the wall with a little Ethernet connector. And then that will go to your device and it'll have wired successful Ethernet connection. Now, as far as it goes for using Wi-Fi, you need a router, which is either purchased from yourself or sometimes provided by your internet provider. And this is what's gonna allow you to connect all those devices wirelessly. Now, most modern computers and other devices, including smartphones, TVs, gaming consoles, and laptops are all gonna have Wi-Fi compatibility. So all you need once you have a general setup with a router is a, is a network name and the password for it which you'll find printed on the device and you can successfully connect wirelessly. Now, as far as how to choose between using Ethernet or Wi-Fi or when to use both, it largely just depends on what you're using the internet for in the first place. So if your router supports both Ethernet and Wi-Fi and so do all your devices, you can decide which connection method to use for each. You can connect some of your devices to Ethernet and some to Wi-Fi, or you could use one system for everything. Most people choose Wi-Fi because it's so convenient and you can use your devices anywhere in your home without having to drag around cables or anything like that. Also, when you have guests over, they can simply just type in the password and they'll be connected without needing to bring out cables. That said, people often choose Ethernet when their main concern is speed and reliability. Internet bandwidth, meaning how much data you can transfer at once, tends to be faster with a modern Ethernet connection versus a modern Wi-Fi connection. And latency, the measure of time between a user's action and a device's response, tends to be lower on Wi-Fi. Ethernet is also often less prone to interference, such as household items or your neighbor's Wi-Fi. And so for me, like I said, I use Ethernet when I'm trying to upload a lot of data to the cloud. And I also almost always have my PlayStation plugged into Ethernet so that I can stream TV shows, play games, all of that without really having to worry about lag or buffering or anything like that. As far as my phone and my iPads, everything like that, I just stick to Wi-Fi because it's easy and it's fast enough to do everything I need to do on a daily basis. All right, so that's gonna do it for today's video. If you guys have any questions or video topics that you'd like us to cover, drop those in the comment section below. Again, if you'd like to check out genuine Microsoft software for a great price, Check out Indigo Software, we'll have all the links in the description box below. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.